everybody? It's your boy Fresco of House Fresh. First of his goddamn name. Can't get enough. Lord Commander of the Night's nice Watch. What's the rest of the shit? Shut up. Don't you say a word. Motherfucking King of, King of the Andals and the First Men. God damn it. You can follow me on Twitter at Fresco Ben Famous. That's B I N Famous. And on Instagram at Fresco Fame. And it's your boy, Flaw 700, a.k.a. Flaw Claw Van Dam, a.k.a. Flaw Cigar. Oh! Oh! A.k.a. your boy, Thumb Sum Goy. Mm. And we are the podcast brothers. And this is episode 127, 127, wow, 127. episodes on you bitches. <laughs> and we are. That we are still in the downtown area of Trenton. Shout out to downtown Starbucks. Trenton. Starbucks, come get you a cinnamon latte. Come get you a caramel frap. Come get you a. a it, it's a, not a, on a house though, so huh? you just got to pay your bread. It's not on. A, it's <laughs> yeah. not on a house. We're not telling you to come get one nah. without paying. We're just nah, telling nah. you to come get one. Yeah. Support your local businesses. You heard? <clears throat> um, episode one twenty seven, man. How, how you doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn. Good. Actually, you know what? Right before I came through here, I just got the new iPhone and shit. But while I was waiting for what it, you got uh, the XR. Okay. Yeah, I got the XR and shit. But anyway, while I was waiting, it was like, I don't know, like some dirty niggas in uh, Star, uh, not Starbucks, excuse me, not this Starbucks, the uh, T-Mobile. It was like people coughing and sneezing and shit. Mm. And then I just felt, I got stuffy out the blue. I was like, fuck. But I still feel it now. So, But other than that, I'm good. They got the super germs? Oh, Kicked them right shit. away? Like, what you want me to tell you, nigga? Ain't no say, fucking scientist. As soon as the nigga say hot chew, oh my god, I'm dying. What you want me to, what you want me to tell you, <laughs> <laughs> nigga? Do I look like fucking Bruce Banner? I can't fucking diagnose myself. <laughs> nah, I just, that shit was just weird. But anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm doing pretty goddamn good. I'm doing good as well. But listen, man, it's episode 127. We have two special guests in the building. Um, some guests that I've been trying to get on for a long time, but I just reached out to them. But it's been in the works in my mind. It's like, yo, I want these two fellas to come through and talk about this dope program that they got going on man um it's basically uh, uh well you know what i'm gonna let them explain to you what this program is but ladies and gentlemen i want to introduce y'all to coach mega and coach puff what up fellas yo what's up man what's, what's going, going on y'all yeah. Appreciate, y'all. appreciate y'all coming through, man. This, is, this no means a lot to us. Like I said, this is episode 127, and I remember a while ago we 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 used to just have like random people come through. Mm-hmm. And Niggas I think that hood. we right, just our friends <laughs> and just people who ain't had nothing going on. They just came through and talked. They gotta start somewhere, man. But we also realized that what we needed to do was just have uh people who have something going on around the way to come through. And uh, bless the podcast. My thing is, I just didn't know so many people <laughs> had so much going on. <laughs> right. So, like every week, we got artists coming through. Excuse me. Um, everybody CEOs, moving, everybody doing their thing. Yeah. So, for you guys to come through and, and bless us um, with your presence means a lot to us. So, Absolutely. definitely, definitely. Appreciate, it. appreciate. Oh, man, no problem, man. Um, we'll be here. glad we here. Today is March tenth, I believe. Right. Yep. That's yeah. March tenth. Um, excuse us for not acknowledging this last week, but rest in peace to Big, man. Mm-hmm. R.I.P. B.I.G. Now, what we didn't do, what I didn't tell you guys is that what I wanted to do was I just thought about it while I was sitting here. But I want to play coming up with new shit. On yeah, the this spot. is true, but I want to play some uh, some Biggie Smalls, man. Let me turn my joint up. Why I want to turn up? This is crazy. Oh man, was it playing before you? <laughs> it was playing before decided. I got in. <laughs> well, yo, I'm about to fix this. I'm about to fix you this. Got three seconds. Okay. No, okay, that's trash. <laughs> Forget about that. Let's see if it plays on here. <laughs> There we there go. go. Mm. Of course, this isn't the wow. song that I wanted to play. But it don't matter. It, that's fire. This song always going to be fire. I just want to know, what's your favorite Biggie song? Like, mm. I'm going to play it real quick. So we can go one by one. I'm going to play a little bit of the song. You just tell me, like, what's your favorite big song? Or the first one that just comes to your head? And that's what's your interest Ready to die. Ready to die? I'm going to go. There's too many of them. It's mad. So many of them, but... I gotta go. I, sky's I, the limit. Yo, I was oh, about to. Man. I was about to. Oh, I was man. about to go there. I was about to go there with you. <laughs> the too. I was about to go there. That's too joint. many of them. Yeah. This is my joint. Your hands on. He had it, man. Yeah, he did. Man. He had that was it. Like big grown man coming out party right there. And they said he like he was murdered 22 years ago. Like that number sounds crazy. It seemed like yesterday. Man. It does. It does. Like don't. Bro, I was 12. He left, man. <laughs> It don't. It definitely don't sound like 12, huh? two, yeah, two, two decades crazy, plus. Man. Waking up, seeing on the news, man, like it was just crazy. Man. Even back then, that. being as young as I was and knowing what just had happened to Tupac and seeing it happen to Big, you knew it was like, all right, it's something ain't right about yeah, none of this. Yeah, right. yeah, you was yeah. young and you knew that. Yeah, it was like, 
Yeah. If I had to go two legends like that. Yeah. If I had to go yeah. one of my favorite Biggie joints, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Warning. Ah, that's see, Classic, that's yeah. why I said it's too many it's of them. Joints. I'm gonna go. Classic, I'm gonna go of. Warning. I fuck with that joint. See, the way he was rapping on that shit was just crazy. On the two, two shots. Yeah, that's Lexus. my joint right there. That's that shit. Uh-huh. See who's this page of me and why. This my name pop from the barber shop. Told me he was at the gambling spot. Heard the intricate plot. Pinpoint one. Absolutely. Like <laughs> paper, neighbor, Absolutely. So Absolutely. I don't know who that was. I thought you knew him. I don't know who that is. He, he just came in here. Nah, he a fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Social media, he be like deliver us. What the yeah. fuck did he just do? I missed the peace sign. He thought the peace sign. You did the door with the peace sign dancing. It was love. It was love. Definitely, definitely. Some tour shit. That's what's up. That's what's up. So we like to start the episodes <laughs> off with how our weeks went. So since you guys are the guests, I'm gonna let you guys go first. So just tell us, like, how was your week? <laughs> a little tiresome, man. You know, doing a lot of running, hustling, and grinding. So you know, all over the place. Man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, but still push though. Push. For a- little absolutely. Tires, absolutely. You know what I mean? Still getting my body used to, you know, having a gym now and being there, doing things there. You know what I'm saying? On the mix of that, running my son from here to there, football. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We, at, please don't forget it. Like, we fathers constantly. too. Constantly. Please Absolutely. don't forget it. Hey, hey. mm-hmm. Constantly. Moving. My kids got fathers. us on the move. Mm-hmm. You know? We fathers, bro. So, you know, on the mix of all that, you know, we, we doing that. Then we got to work still too, you know, <laughs> because the gym and training kids is, you know, that's that's the love. You know what I'm right. Saying? The job is the work. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm trying the benefits. to say? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, basically, without basically what you see me doing, like I, I would love to just do this every day, without all day, but you know oh, what? Man, that'd be dope. I got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I got to go get, I got to bring home the bacon. Punch the clock. Yes, Beef bacon. <laughs> Nigga, send some one. Beef bacon is delicious. Send some one. You fuck with beef bacon. <laughs> all right. Whatever. Uh, yeah. shit, I stop eating beef bacon, man. You stop? Body ain't, um. Got gotcha, you, right. Breaking down, man. Right. And that's it. And all that crap, gotcha. man. Uh, Heartburn. Can't yo, get that's up. that's me. Uh, uh, I pop uh, tums like like <laughs> like now, ladies, man. I gotta is, stop. Can't eat. Was eat was that 19, shit is terrible. Yo. Seventeen years old. No Absolutely. More. Can't go to Poppy's no more. Get a let me get a bacon hoagie sandwich. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go turkey. The good old days. <laughs> the bacon yeah. hoagie sandwich. Gotta go turkey, man. So, Coach yeah, Puff, how was your week? Oh, it was good, man. Um. Grinded, working, man. Like I said, man, p- um, paying these bills, taking care of these kids, the misses and everything. Um, like I said, like Mike, like Mike said, man, running these kids back and forth from different things and doing things for them, f- fully investing in their future, man, is 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 a devil, is a job within itself, bro. Mm. So I'm just happy to happy to do it. That you can like that we that can, you can do, do it. it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Like they like said, like man, I love being asked out for doing what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? If I ain't if I ain't feeling assed out for something I ain't doing, then what's the point? Absolutely. We definitely yeah. gonna talk about that because you just you just uh hit something that I think we also should should discuss and miss the questions I also have for you guys. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Man. How was your week? Um my week was chill, man. Work week, uh regular shit. I went and saw Captain Marvel this week. I heard it was fire. I heard it was fire. Yeah, it was, was pretty good. Captain pretty Marvel good. was fire, yo. This is what pisses me off about Facebook niggas, right? So I go on Facebook after I watch Captain Marvel. I just put a hashtag Captain Marvel with like three fire emojis, right? All right. Nigga gonna comment under my status house when I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? The fuck you mean? Right. The fuck you mean you don't believe me, man? It <laughs> was a little men in blackish, though. I gotta give it that. It, it was a little it, it, MIB a little bit. I mean, you can pick at it. It, you know, <laughs> it was you good, can, though. You it can pick good, at though. it. It was some shit that I was watching. I was like, uh, but in the, in the overall part of it, it was good. It was good. It was good. Story plot. And man. then somebody else gonna comment on my shit talk some, I heard it was okay. I'm like, what the... F- the fuck you want me to say to that? Like, <laughs> you know what I think? I said it was fire, my yeah. nigga. Like I said it was fire. I said yeah, it was fire. I said my and, it. Your, and your reply was, I, I heard yeah. it was okay. What the? I, that's what I literally said to her. I said, what the fuck? I think we got Am spoiled I by to Black Panther. Like, right. 
I think we got a little. Everybody spoiled. got spoiled by Black Panther, but I think they was looking for another one. With that one. I mean, ah, they, they, they do it. <laughs> they, do they, it. they set themselves up for that. I feel like you're going to compare Black Panther to this blonde haired white woman. Right, <laughs> right, right. You know what right. I'm saying? <laughs> no disrespect. This shit was fine. I enjoyed the fuck out of that movie. Uh, they building it up though. They building up they for the last Avengers. It, right yeah, for the last Avengers, and it, and it makes sense. That shit was coming out. That yeah. didn't want to go. Black Panther knew about that. Then a year and a half. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah man. man. Marvel always some top secret shit. Though. They are, you know, man. They, 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 they years ahead. They years ahead. They answer questions and yeah. shit from like Samuel Jackson's past and his character. They like they kind of piece some shit together in this movie. So yeah, mm-hmm. it's, yeah it was, was a good movie. It was a good movie. But we helped see Samuel with the fade, though. Uh, <laughs> with, the, with the Temptation S curl at the top. <laughs> I didn't know he, what was going on there. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what is that on his head? You know, he used one of the little roller cones. Got that shit going <laughs> backwards. It's like got some suppressed. And, got the little, and, and, little crumples mad tight. <laughs> yeah. It was a good it was, movie, though. I recommend it. I recommend it. That was your week? Check it, yeah, that was, that was my week. My week, sure my week. Be honest with you. My week started slow. I mean, I just just had a daughter. She'll be uh, three weeks. Uh, congratulations, this Wednesday. Man. Thanks. So. Most definitely. Thanks. Yeah. Bless us. Um, it's a yeah. whole other world. Yeah. Hey, I know. I, <laughs> listen, I <laughs> see your grand. We're gonna talk about that, man. Girl, you love that girl, man. Whole Not saying you don't love the other kids, but it's a different type Girl's of vibe. Different. Yeah, it different is. Type of I'm vibe. sorry, sons. I'm sorry. Girl, um, it is different. Man. Um. So yeah. So I basically been doing that, going to work, coming home, taking care of the little one. But then I got. Some crazy news on Friday, man. My son, you know what I mean? He was at work, man, and these knuckleheads from out a certain type of way was up, was up at his job with guns. Oh, wow. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, so I had to I hopped in the car, headed right. up there to see what was good. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like, whatever. Like, I ain't asking no questions, but the smoke was clear. Basically, there was some type of game that happened, uh, um, and somebody got jumped at the game, and they brought it to the job. Mm. Same people came, oh, y'all still here, and they pulled out, you know what I mean? Peace. Everybody was scattering. You know what I'm saying? My son said he called the first person who was in his call log, which was my daughter, his sister. So she called me, and she historical. So she just like, right. Dad, the gun. Save oh, my more. Boom. That's what I went. So like I say, my week went from chill well to, all right, either yeah. y'all might not see me ever again because something about to go down because I'm right. heading up to the job right now. Yeah. So everything worked that worked itself out. So I'll say that. So. It's a good thing. Police and that shit came like that? When I got there, it, it was all cleared away. Like, nobody was there. They, they even shut the store down. You feel me saying? So That's crazy. I went, man. picked him up, took him back to the crib. Where, you know what I mean? Like, like you know what? Just relax, man. Go play some PlayStation relax. Because that's my job. You know what I'm saying? Like, doubt. And he yeah. was telling me about how afraid he was. And I said, son, that's why, that's why I am who I am. That's why I'm hard on you, bro. Like, I want to know where you at. I want to know what you're doing. Like, I know you want to make your own money, but... You ain't got to get a job. Like, you don't got to work anywhere and everywhere just because you want some money. Right. I'm, I'm still on day. You got to put yourself right in danger right. for a dollar. Right. right. And I, yeah. you right. can't turn it off. I don't no. care how old they get. You feel nah. what I'm saying? You'll never just be able to. Can't. Yeah. Impossible. My oldest so, son in Connecticut. If he called me and tell me they put out a gun on him, I'm gone. No questions you asked. I mean? Like, okay. I, I ain't calling nobody. I just hit the highway, swerving speed limit. I was ready to tell the officer, listen, listen, I got to be somewhere. I got somewhere to go. <laughs> Already had my story. Like, yeah. look. I'm not doing the the. the uh, no, you just gotta stop no, me. You'll no. see when everything I get there. stops. Everything Correct. stops, everything. man. So <coughs> I'm just glad that he was okay. But at, but at the same time, getting like it's those nerves that hit me trying to get in the car. Them yeah. keys, like nothing. You're not working properly. Nah, you ain't like wasn't you, like I frantic. just get in the car, put the keys. Nah, I was like, yo, what the, <laughs> like mm, like once I got in my rhythm, I was in my rhythm. Most definitely. So I picked him up, man, and we. I just took him back to the crib, and everything's good, man. Everything's good with that. So, so you son a good kid too, man. Yeah, thank good you, kid. kid thank man. you, man. Good kid, man. Um, so yeah, man. Let's get into this week's episode. Well, episode to one to liven it up a bit. Shit. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> a little sauce in this motherfucker. My yeah. bad. It's one twenty-seven, baby. One twenty-seven. Yeah. Real grim in this motherfucker. That's a blessing, yeah. man. One twenty-seven, man. Yeah, one hundred twenty-seven episodes. Mm-hmm. So we got. Up, um, so tell us the name of the program. It's 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 called AIP. Okay. Um. All in performance training. Okay. You know what I mean? But right now we still just we we basically still on the on the running start. You know what I mean? So it's still just football. Okay. You know what I mean? So the meaning behind the name is that we plan to have all different sports okay. in one building. Okay. You know what I mean? So before we go too deep and tell them tell them your name again and just tell them why you guys started this AI uh this uh, program. 
Well, I'm Coach Mega. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, where you from? Tell them where you from. <laughs> huh? You already know, uh, man. <laughs> Wilbur section. Wilbur section. Attorney from Jersey. Hamilton, man. Born and raised, man. <laughs> Born and raised, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, my brother tried to. He tried to. He tried to start. It's man. the borderline. Yeah. It's the borderline. He nah, trying to start. Section. Yeah. He trying to start, man. Me. You know what I mean? Born and football, raised, man. Gonna, foot against Trey High, y'all. Yeah, you're from see, Hamilton. See, that's where mm-hmm. that's where Hamilton, that's where we go when we talk about football. Being that I left Little Tornadoes and went to Hamilton West, it's like, oh, he from Hamilton. Yeah, guess what? Legend though, legendary. That white yeah. man came to legendary. get me, man. Legendary. You understand? Legendary, you know what I mean? legendary. Yeah. Legendary. Hey, hey, Rel, we go back in time. It was only one white man in the stands at Little mm. Tornado Games. Mm. That was Coach Hartbauer. Mm-hmm. Life changing. You understand yeah, me? Absolutely. Life changing. Absolutely. He came and got a kid from 52 Ward Avenue, man. That's how. That's how you know great man? you were. Yeah, 52 yeah, Ward Avenue, man. Mm-hmm. He came and got me, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I'm blessed. I mean, absolutely. Thank you for that all the time. And the program saying? started because I was in the building. Okay. I was in the building. So it was like, when I come home, I want to do something. Mm, okay. Now, I know what I love to do, but I mean, that's what I really came up with it, you know. Came up with the name and, you know, decided on when I come home and already knew who I had in mind, who I wanted to be with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's more people with us. But, you know, I knew right off the mind, like, man, good football mind, love mm-hmm. the kids, you know what I mean? Know he going to be there with me through every step. Okay. So it was like, reached out to him when I got home, you know what I'm saying? And it took off from there. You, know so what I'm you, was, you was offense, you was defense? I was, I was, I was both. You was both? I was, I was both. Line you was both? Yeah, I was yeah. both. So yeah. when y'all played against each other. A different homecoming. <laughs> I was that? A different homecoming. Um, see my face? I see, and I, I'm looking at his face compared to yours. Too. That's what I'm looking at, yeah. Different homecoming. You know what I mean? This is what we do, though. We okay. go at it we all the time it. about yeah. this. Yeah. You see my face, though, right? Man. Keep a different alive, homecoming. Right. Man. I understand. Keep yeah, different alive, homecoming. Man. So, Coach Puff, <laughs> um, where do you come in at with this program? Like, well, like, what's man, one of the ones you call? You he know, called? He called. He made, man, yeah, make it been in touch for it. Been together since, man, we used little kids, man. Right. Grew up together. I mean, he a little bit older than me, so I was looking up to them in 30 and... Tay and all them and, mm-hmm. and Woo and all them. So when he gave me the call, like, yo, I got this plan together, you know what I mean? I wanna I wanna I wanna get back. I wanna I wanna help the kids. I wanna put this town on the map for football. Tired about hearing up North Jersey, tired of hearing about South Jersey. We got a lot of talent here. Let's not expose that talent around here. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So let's get together and let's start showing these kids, let's start giving them an opportunity that we didn't have. You know what I mean? Like let's let's show them the techniques. Let's show them the proper way. Let's let's show them how to get ready for school and college and work out and things right. like that. So it was just like, basically, we got talent here too. Absolutely, you know what I mean. Ooh, and yeah. and we tired of seeing, oh, Trenton team shut cut down talent on the corner should right. be on the field or the court. Or well, the talent like, that is getting, there, noticed, right, getting overlooked by what's going on in the other places. Exactly, right, exactly. Right. Now, Megan, exactly. no shot at you. <laughs> but you did go from Trenton to Hamilton, which is a good look. <laughs> right. But are you guys saying that, are we tired of kids having to go to certain different schools to get looks? Like, why not? No. No? It's a, does it doesn't no. matter about where you're from. No, no, no. It's no. Okay, no. okay. No. Just, just, to, just, to cut in, get there. just to cut in on it, when we look at our city, no matter what part of the city you're from, to me, in our eyes, we have better athletes than half of New Jersey. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, they don't have the outlets. They Absolutely. Don't, they don't have it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, we still building. A lot of stuff we do sometimes, and when, it, when the weather changes, we do for free. You know what I'm saying? And you get a certain amount of kids come out. But then you got a lot of kids that's walking around that's talented, bro. Like, I'm talking about, man. Because they don't know where amazing, to go. amazing, man. They don't have it. They don't, when right. you go back to our time, and me and Tay was talking about this yesterday in the gym, I thought about it. I said, damn, bro. When I was younger, I never did a ladder. I never did a ladder. Nah, I told you that that you ladder story. I did. Mm-hmm. I never I didn't did see a ladder, ladder to my senior year of high school. Yeah. and didn't know what to do. I never did a ladder drill in high school. I don't even know never. what the fuck y'all talking. I'm, about. I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming that next that drill that I see on Instagram yeah. with the feet moving. Yeah, right. foot, oh, that yeah, one. speed and agility yeah. ladder. I never yeah. did a ladder drill. Me and Tate talked about it. We said, man. We did some tires. Yeah, we, had we played tires. football up at PJ Hill. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the kids, like, we try and explain to the kids, like, how we learn. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Compared to now, they have outlets. And 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 
don't get it twisted. Like we say all the time, we don't care if you train with us or somebody else. Long as you training, yeah. you get what I'm saying. Long as you doing as something, working. long as you getting it. it, long as you, you know working. What I mean? Because believe me, bro, we ain't had this. They be like, well, what you did for your speed? I said, well, I'm from Wilbur Section. We had a lot of loose dogs. So at the end of the day, <laughs> you got a lot of fences. Right, right. At the end of the day, when I'm walking down that street from my street where I grew up on to go in the middle, you know, at first time South Cook, then on East State and Hatton and down Mama, we had dogs. That's bro. a fact. That's how you knew. That's dogs, how you knew bro. who was fast. Right. Yeah. Either either just random races with your in the hood. On. Right. With your book bag on. With your book bag on. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. When it come to football, man, shit, you know, shut the street down. Absolutely. You got parked cars, potholes, mirrors. You know what I mean? And guess what? The main thing is you don't want to get tackled on that concrete. Yeah. So you're going to develop the shakes. That's right. where the movement and everything came in. You know mm. what I'm saying? But now the kids, man, they got so much stuff now. You know what I mean? So many people that's willing to help. Right. You get what I'm trying to say? Now, so and that's, some that's still ain't taking advantage it. of it. Right. A lot. Not. And, and sometimes, bro, it's not even the kids. It's the parents. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I get people all the time say, uh, can, can you do it for this? Or can you train him for free? Or... Man, you too much. In my, in my mind, I'm like, man, I'm set at a price that's affordable. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like, if you go to some of them other trainers, you know, not around here, up north, or anywhere like that, bro, they want down at $120, $130 an hour. You know what I'm saying? And I'm all doing those it camps and all that shit right. like yeah. that, with those yeah. competitions, right. them, them shit is called bread. Called bread, bread bro. Which, yeah. is why, bread. which is why some kids who are more privileged get into a program because they can afford it. And that's why it's always the same kids that get the same looks because it's the same kids from the earlier stages of those programs mm-hmm. that play in the same programs as they get older. Right. They just keep rotating and playing in this league and that league. And that's why you but, see the same faces rotating all the time. But see, you say they can afford it, but you think about it, right? <clears throat> they all go out, man. Mm-hmm. So as parents, you break down to going out, you know, you get it. They go get an outfit. Got to invest in your kid's future. You know man. what I'm saying? So you basically, everybody can bottles. afford it. Yeah. They if buy bottles. Stop. If you stop <laughs> doing it, right. right. they buy bottles. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They go get, you know what I mean? They look nice. You know what I'm saying? You should be able I got, to put yourself in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? A time, uh, a lot of times in order to, you know what I'm saying? If your kid is saying, I, I want to be in this program. Without a doubt. But you're going to say no, but then go get that new outfit the same night. Like, That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So to stay on. Before. So stay on football, right? Right. The two of you guys have some of the awkward teams you can root for in the area. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, man. I'm with my man Puff because I'm a Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan. He Got actually to. wore the hoodie, Got too. To. Shout out to the Bucks, Got man. To. Got to. Oh, oh my God. God. I want to oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> talk to you guys about your teams and why you selected them. I want to start with you, Coach Mega, the Jets. So, 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 so hold on. So he sent me the itinerary for the show, right? Right. So I know he's a Bucks fan. So I'm reading the top, and it was like, how did you get to be a New York Jets fan and a Tampa Bay Buc- Buccaneers fan? I said, who the fuck is a Jets fan? <laughs> that, was, hey, yo. that was my reply. I'm, I'm like, nigga, they talking about me. I ain't no fucking Jets oh, fan. Man. He was like, nah, nah, that's the questions for the guests. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, man. I'm a Giants fan. I just want to make sure. Oh, my shit. God, I, man. I respect nah. this man right now. That's why I brought it up. So, nah. Nah, I'm going to oh, break it down bad. to you. Okay. I'm going to break it down to you. As a young, young kid. Right? My favorite player was Warwick Dunn. And Warwick Dunn played for who? Well, I know him from the Bucks. <laughs> okay. He played with the Bucks. Okay. So now, you know, that was my team back then. Okay. Right? Okay, I got you. That was my team. When Warwick Dunn played for them, that was my team. Wherever gotcha. Warwick went, I went. Gotcha. You know what I mean? I can see because the similarities too. Warwick is a, not even just the similarities on the field, it's the type of man Warwick right. Dunn is. A lot of people don't know the type of man Warwick Dunn is. They don't know Warwick Dunn started a foundation when right. he entered the league, being that his mom died. Mm-hmm. He give houses away houses, yep. every year to single moms. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So that was my first That's team. That's dope. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he, gave, and, he gave away over 100 houses already. Too. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Yeah, I mean, and he get more and more people to come in winning to give right. away more houses. But that was my first team. You know, when Ward retired, I said, damn, no more Ward. So, you know, I'm from Trenton. I don't like the Eagles because a lot of my friends are Eagle fans. <laughs> yeah. You agreed. know what I'm saying? Agreed. So it's like, uh, I don't agreed. like the Giants. So don't, I like don't green. Agree. Don't agree. I like green. Curtis Martin wore 28 too. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I said, man, I'm going to go with the Jets. Okay. So ever since then, I've been a Jets fan. 
You know what I mean? Diehard Jets fan. And when we start winning, I don't want to see niggas that's from around here start talking about, yeah, I always knew they could do it. Yeah. Because it's about to don't happen. Don't worry. They, they ain't going to worry about me, brother. They won't. <laughs> they won't. <laughs> it's about to happen, bro. It's, he sound like a Knicks fan. It's that's about what to happen. I hear. Coach Puff. With me? Yeah, he sound like Celtics a Knicks fan. Celtics yes, all day. I like uh, green, bro. I like green. <laughs> I like green. So, uh, Celtics. Coach Puff, how did you become a Tampa Bay Buccaneers fan? Man. I fell in love with that orange sickle, man. Mm. I, ah. I loved the orange jersey back in the day, man. It was just something about that color. I'm like, man, it's different. It's loud. Dolphins got and orange. And I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I ain't got nothing against the Dolphins, but it was just something about the Bucks, man. Okay. It was different, you know what I mean? Then when Broderick Thomas really set it off, you know what I mean? The, the linebacker and then Brooks and Sapping them came and then they just took off Lynch and all them boys. And I was like, Mike Allstott, I'm like, man, this is the team, right? Yeah, here. So Mike Allstott like, was so fucking I beast. fell in love yeah, with them, man. I've been Ooh, in love right. with them since, man. So, <laughs> I, it's just the Bucks. We've been sucking A since, though, but. Yeah, we, got one, though. We, got one. We, we got one, though. We got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. Got one. Why, 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 you, why are you a Bucks fan? I'm a Bucks fan because I went against, like, the status quo. Like I you think damn that, right. I think that before <laughs> I was really into football, I was a Giants fan, but I just didn't know why. I didn't know why. But I went and bought Madden one time. Just I wanted something to play. And I looked at who was the nicest dudes in the league by the overall percentages, and mm-hmm. Warren Sat was number one with a 99. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I started playing with them. So when you play with them, you now recognize them on the field. Yeah. And I'm watching them, Sean King, the quarterback, and, and like, they're actually doing it. And, and they playing defense, like the type of game that That's I like playing. That's what they built on deep. And then I, I, I stuck with them, and they wind up <laughs> that year um, winning that Super Bowl. So I, I was with them when they had Sean King. Yeah. When they mm. who was lost that? to the um, Rams. The Rams, like 13-9 yeah, or yeah, something. It was an ugly yeah, score. yeah. That was and a they, catch, by the way. And they so. kept going. And they just kept <laughs> going. <man>. So <laughs> I was I was blessed to get a championship out of that. To shut down. Wait, 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 wait. To shut down the vet. Oh, yeah. The vet. Shut down the they vet. They thought they had it that year. <laughs> the rats left the building that day. The Eagles thought they had it that year. Because I remember the first play of the game, it was a kickoff, and they went like 90 yards. Yeah, that was a deuce. Yeah, yeah, was, uh, and they like, oh, Tampa. Tampa can't win in the cold. Yeah, it was like negative 14 at that game. I was at that game. It was I was at that it game. Was, it was that game? cold. I was at that game. It was Word. beautiful, man. Was fire. Shout out to John cold, Gruden man. for knowing Oakland Raiders uh, calls. Oh, yo. <laughs> how dumb Gruden. can you get? Yo, yeah. They was calling. This. <laughs> they was call, John Lynch was out there the calling. Same yo, damn they about to throw it right here. Yeah. <laughs> but that just goes the mastermind he is, man. So this is my first time actually talking to uh, football heads when it comes to the situation. Like Everybody has their opinion on what they would have did or what they believe in. But Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Did y'all believe he was actually kneeling for the cause or just to get out of his contract? Like, what's your thoughts on Kaepernick? And would you kneel if he was there? Take this one. I I believe, I me me personally, my opinion, I like everything he did. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it's it's a lot going on in the world today. Bro. Yeah, it's a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And half the stuff we still don't even see or know. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But some stuff they're bringing to the light because it's 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 a problem in the, not just our city, state, in the nation, bro. Right? Like it's really a, it really is a problem. This you know whole system. So he <coughs> he stood for something, and I respect that. You know what I mean? I respect that. You Would you kneel? Saying? Yeah, you, without a okay, doubt. Okay, without a doubt. If I was there with him, without a doubt, mm. I would do that for real. What about boycotting football? Like not watching. So let's say you're not at. Let's say you're you. You didn't make it in the NFL. Did you boycott? Or was you just like it was nah. hard, bro. I nah, couldn't. I couldn't. I, you couldn't boycott. I, okay. I love the game too yeah, much. Yeah, right. To to just base on one per one one person purpose. Right. You know what I mean? I respect the game a lot. You know what I mean? Like when when you out there, when you out when you playing a game, black, white, right, green, purple. Man, you you playing to win. Win. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. You playing for your family and you playing for the people that that surround you, your teammates. You know what I mean? I respect the hell out of Colin Kaepernick for what he's done. He shook this world up, be honest with you. He did. They don't want to give him that recognition, but he shook this world up, man. Now you got players like A.B., Le'Veon Bell, like, yo, if it ain't right, I ain't doing it. Without Mm -hmm. a doubt. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And it's giving the players players power. And people don't understand that. Like, these these dudes are getting smarter with their money. They they like, look, man, it ain't worth out here getting hurt, and then I ain't going to get retribution for it. Right. You know what I mean? So now these players are like, man, look. I'm gonna go where I want to go when I play comfortably. If I don't like the situation, I'm out of here. Yep, I definitely you know respect I mean? it. You they gotta respect that slavery it. mentality up out of here. <clears throat> you gotta respect it. Shit, why? I, how could you not? Yeah, how I mean, could you not? Like seriously, for real. 
Well, you know, there's some people who saying that his his uh, objective was personal, like like he just wanted to be traded from the 49ers, and you know he just kind of put two and two together. There's some people who could say that. Yeah, I, you know, I don't agree with that. I mean, I think he would have just asked for a theorist, trade. Man. He did. They, they was gonna they, cut him anyway. Okay. You know what I mean, yeah. Gruden came out. I mean, not Gruden. I'm sorry, John Lynch said, "Yo, he was getting rid of him anyway." Without you know a doubt, he we wasn't gonna keep him. Okay. His numbers were down. Blah blah blah. blah. Yeah, but they was they was terrible. Yeah, bro. they was like, trash as fuck. It was that terrible. Yeah. They, yeah. It was terrible, bro. <laughs> Without a doubt. Know I mean, he he couldn't make those players. I only think Brady would have made those players good if he was over there with those sorry. players. Come on, man. I'm sorry, bro. So, um, what has football taught you? Like, and basically what I mean is, like, when it comes to football, there's a certain type of discipline that comes with it. But how do you just transition to your everyday life? Like, was it for football? Football taught me this about real oh, life. man. Football taught me discipline, hard work, camaraderie, uh, um, um, how, how to get through adversity in life. You know what so I mean? So, quick like, question. You married, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Football. The discipline, the getting through hard times. Did that does that play a part? Like, do you oh, take man. everyday life, football, right? Everyday life, okay. everyday. Like, Not saying you like wouldn't people, be here without. Football, yeah, like but. like people people don't understand. Like when you get you get thrown in the trenches. Like you got to do anything to get out of the trenches, and if you mess up, you got to pay for that. You got to 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 be strong in your spot. You mm-hmm. got to uh, admit to your your wrong and correct it. Like it's an assignment. It's a job. And mm-hmm. if you ain't doing your job, you ain't doing it right, then you can't play. Right. And just like in life, if you ain't doing what you're supposed to do, then what are you doing? Mm-hmm. What is your purpose? You know Absolutely. what I mean? So I teach my kids that every day. Like, football showed me life, showed me a way. Like, people like, oh, it's just a game. Nah, it's more than a game mm-hmm. to me, man. Not a it's more than a game to me. Like, nothing like brotherhood, nothing like fighting for the people around you, playing for the people that's installing their knowledge into you about the game. You know what I mean? And, like, to this day, I got little kids coming up to me that like, I coached years ago. Like, man, thank you for showing me how to do this. That, and I, I do that to my coaches. I mm-hmm. still stay in contact with all my coaches. You know what I mean? Because they, 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 they like fathers out there. Right. You know what I mean? Teaching their sons. And, and that's why I took from the game. Seriously. Why you ain't never playing no sports growing up? Rare was scared of that ball, man. Yeah, yo, why you never? Rare was scared of that ball. Yo, why you never playing ball, yo? I wasn't playing football. I wasn't playing football. I wasn't playing football. He should have been a fucking player. He should have been a wrestler. That's what he should have been. I was scared of that ball. I was an unorthodox person, man. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know what it means. Hopefully, hopefully it means what I'm about to. <laughs> hopefully it means what I'm about to describe. <laughs> hopefully it means what I'm about to describe. But I can just remember playing basketball and just my hands ain't made for it. Like I just never can get that grip. I don't uh-huh. know. Like I, yeah. I never could develop a, a handle. So, and plus I'm impatient. So I never took the time to learn <laughs> anything. Drove like, the ball one time. Dribbled yeah, it a few times. It. Well, I won't stay All still. Right, whatever. That's uh, it. over. Football just wasn't my thing. Um, I don't know. I think I think that what I'm meant to do, I'm actually doing. Like, I just wish I did get into, like, organized sports, though, because mm-hmm. it's the organized part that helps out the youth a lot, is to yeah. oh, doing yeah. those organized things, because I just wasn't organized ever stages. in life, you know? Man, look, let me My tell life you was hard just because you just didn't have that organization in your life. So. Mm-hmm. If wrestling was a cool sport to be in back in them days, because if you would if you if you would have been a wrestler and you were in high school like ninety eight, ninety nine, niggas would have been laughing at you with them little spandex joints. But yeah. if you would have actually did it, I'm telling you, because the nigga done put me in a couple of wrestling moves and back in the days but now that you mentioned my, my, it, he should have been a wrestler, bro. I'm telling now you. Now that you, you mentioned know he it that wrestling. I do. Now <laughs> that you mentioned it though, and just piggybacking on what you guys were saying about opportunities, I don't think I was given the opportunity. Like, it's, it's not like I seen it and was like, yo, I want to do that. I don't mm-hmm. know if Trent had, I don't know. I never yeah. seen it. Like, right. I didn't go, mm-hmm. so it wasn't right. presented to me. So it was just like, I only thought that the only wrestling was professional. Right. So you wait till after school to try to become a professional wrestler. Yeah. I just, it just never crossed my Man. mind to do this. You ever you ever had a nigga half suplex you and land on your fucking face <laughs> <No>. before? <laughs> I don't I don't recall. No. Of course not. <laughs> Man, no. look. I don't recollect this. No. Toss awesome. some. You know when you used to fake wrestle with your brothers back in the don't day and shit, mom, you swing to the ropes. This nigga is, don't do nothing. What you mean don't do nothing? <laughs> that had to be rules, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can't reverse everything. Yeah. First of all, yeah. ain't even no ropes over here. It's a fucking wall. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna hear this story for the rest of my life. You got damn yeah. right, nigga. You dropped yeah. me on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that shit. So, if not football, what would you guys be playing right now? Like, if it wasn't for football, what would be the sport that you would be passionate about? I'd probably be playing basketball. That was my basketball, second love. Basketball, baby, yeah. That was my second love. Okay. You know what I mean? Basketball. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no, no plan B. Oh, so Nothing. he ain't a real football player then. 
Oh, <laughs> Contact, shit. Bro. <laughs> Nothing. Wow. Nothing. No Kyle what Murray. We had a basketball court in the backyard. Would you just bag? Yeah, Nothing, man. bro. I saw a woo and them coming you down. You niggas soft. You niggas soft. Yeah, yeah. Basketball. Oh, you niggas play basketball. You niggas soft. I, 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 I've been like that since I was little. Even when we all did play basketball, you know, East State Park, uh, you know, the Westwood. Bro, man, like I can't play with a ref because it's like when I dribble the ball, I get charges. I put my shoulder in. Right. <laughs> so my shoulder down and I'm, mm-hmm. I get charges. You know what I'm saying? So once I got the like ninth grade, man, it was like fuck basketball. Mm. Man, this shit. Basketball was fucking up his football game. Yeah. In a way, and I've been shit. doing football all my life. Man. <laughs> Basketball was all my, my fault. Shit, man. But what I should have asked you was: tell the people what position you played. Just, just talk a little about yourself, man. A little bit about me. Uh, just a little about that question. You say what football did for your life? Mm-hmm. You know, football is really a game changer. Mm-hmm. You understand? So, just me, and I say just me all the time because my story is different from his and from his. You know what I'm saying? The way I grew up, when certain shit was going on in the house, I grabbed a ball. You know what I'm saying? And we had a lot on Ward Avenue, you know what I'm saying? We all go on a lot, play football, you know what I mean? So that took my mind away from everything. But at the end of the day, I am really an athlete when I play. I could play any position besides quarterback and the line, okay. you know what I'm saying? Any position I could play, you know what I mean? But my main positions are running back and cornerback, Okay. you know what I mean? So that's what I fell in love with, you know what I mean? And the running back part of it is – you either running back or you not. So, you know, that was that. I was fast and I had good vision. The cornerback part of it was I like to guess, you know what I mean? Try and see if I could stop you a whole game, you know what I mean? And it's so much more in cornerback you could learn besides running back, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because, you know, you get a kid out there and he trying to play running back and you could tell right off the split second if he's a running back or not when you're watching play. So the running back position is kind of like the fun position. Like everybody wants to play it, but not Every, everybody can do it. Right, okay. right. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The cornerback position is even if you look halfway good, we can teach you to look halfway better. Okay. You get what I'm trying to yeah. say? Running back, you either got it or you, you either don't. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Those are two <laughs> positions, <laughs> man. QB and running back. Yeah. Now, Puff, we might have skipped over a little bit, but we heard you uh, talk about the positions you played. But tell us one more time, like what positions you played, but what was your main <laughs> position or what was you oh, striving was, for the most, if you I was, uh, I was an um, offensive guard and um, defensive tackle. Okay. Like, I, defense was my thing. Like, I love defense or whatever. Um, yeah. Like I said, watching Sap, man, watching my cousin Gary Stills come up and everything, man, and just – just watching them boys going to the high games, going uh, – defense was the thing, man. Mm-hmm. Like, them dudes was just malicious, like – like, you couldn't play on the same field with them if you wasn't, like, dog. Like, you had to be a dog. So, mm-hmm. that gave me the animosity of, of, like, playing defense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm I'm going I'm going to I'm try my best to destroy you. Yeah, now, that's yeah. How, that's the mentality I had. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So How far did you go? Uh, I went to a JUCO, man. Um, mm-hmm. Like I said, like, I didn't have the psh, grades, man. That's, that's, that's huge, man. Grades is, is a big thing. I went out of Cali to a JUCO. For two years, I was. Oh, I was good, man. But, oh, man, college and, and and football, man, is is a blessing, man. I recommend any any athlete out there that's that's passionate about the game, man. Please be serious and, and take that chance and just go, man. Right. Just go and get the experience. But it's being it's a, good or bad. A student, a student athlete is some hard Yo, shit, though. Right? I tell my sons, people don't understand. Man, it, bro. It's hard, bro. <clears throat> Going to practice, maintaining your grades, trying to stay. You know what I mean? Level-headed. It's, it's, man, yeah. it's hard being a student athlete, people man. I can never read an NFL playbook, bro. Yo. It's, I can never read it. People don't understand it. I can like, never read that shit, understand bro. understand how no, hard each level, it, it look like my son in crayons. Just each, like, each level will get harder, man. Different formations, different verbiage. You got to mm-hmm. learn all over. You know I mean, when I went to college... I didn't know what a six inch punch was. So when I got out there, I they don't know what a six inch punch is. That's karate, nigga. So, <laughs> I thought you were talking about football. Exactly. Yo, when you're on the line in the trenches, it's hand to hand combat. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to oh, learn that. You can six inch punch a nigga on the line? Six inch punch. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so you got to use two hands. You just can't go up and just, you know what I mean? Yeah. Throw the jab or whatever. So I'll be hooking They were looking at me, man. My coach was like, man, where we get this kid from? Who is this? Get him off my field. Like, so now. This this is the program coming at like we teach the kids like 
when they get there, they know what it is they already. Know it already. Mm-hmm. They know yeah. what a six-inch yeah. step is. They know what a chop and rip is. They know what a first step, jab step is and things like that because – it's not common. Being knowledge. ahead, being ahead yeah. is, is 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 a blessing, man. Yeah, that, yeah, you know what I mean, that helps yeah. out a lot too, Hell man. Yeah, like you know, being advanced and in the head, it helps out a lot, and it stre- and leaves stre- less stress for the coaches and mm-hmm. give you a peace of mind and prolong your career. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. and prolong your career. Hell All right, yeah. so one more time, man. Let, let the people know what the name of the program is, um, and um, like where, when, things of that nature. Well, it's um, AIP. All in performance, um, LLC at that license too. Ooh, man, yes. my man Ooh, Megan put the groundwork in, in man. There. This, this is doubt. all my man Megan, man. He had a dream and a vision, man. and I'm just trying to help him fulfill it, man. Yeah. Giving back and anything. That's man. what's up. So, that's a beautiful that thing. Got the LLC. Don't play with it. Yeah, don't play with it. That thing trademark. You know what I'm saying? All right, so four. We're four fathers here, and on this podcast, we like to discuss. Fatherhood, love, life, relationships, things of that nature, mental health. So one topic that we ran across was this Instagram post that my brother sent me about a father with two daughters and a young son. Now I'm gonna just skim over a little summary, and I'm, uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it though, right? Mm-hmm. So a father was left home with a six year old son and two young daughters. It was nap time, and the father cuddled the two young girls until they fell asleep. The six year old son wanted to take a nap too. The father thinks his son is too old to share a bed with him, but he let him join because he felt the son felt left out. He didn't cuddle his son because he said that's his mom's job. And he later admitted that sometimes he's too hard on his sons because he wants them to be strong men. So just what's your thoughts on that summary right there? Like, is, is he bugging or do you see what he was trying to do? Can I? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do your thing, bro. bro. Listen, man. It's no right or wrong way to really raise your child. But at the same time, you got to show him that affection too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And just by you being soft on your son, that don't mean, you know what I'm saying, he's going to be soft. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? As long as you guide him the right way, it shouldn't be a problem. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like sometime now when I'm in my room, in my bed, my 10-year-old son will come in there. Dad, what you doing? And I watch the TV. All right, he'd chill. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? In his bed, he lay in the bed, he chill. Yeah. It's not a problem. Right. Now my seventeen year old son or my twenty one year old son, they don't you know what I mean, they you know, one in college, the other one, he stuck to the room. He's doing what the teens do. Yeah. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? My ten year old though, he come in all the time, bro. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's nothing wrong with that. But at the same token, I know outside of that door he know how to handle himself. Right. Yeah. You know right. What I'm saying? A well so balanced like, meal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's like I don't have a problem. I'm not too soft on him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I very rarely, like, none of my kids, I, I never beat none of my kids. Okay. Mm-hmm. My mouth and, and and my tone is enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. My oldest son, 21, when he hear me say certain things, he know I'm serious. You get what I'm saying? Then I ain't got to say nothing else. Problem solved. You know what I mean? One thing I joked about was you just never want to live long enough for your son to whip your ass, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, though, son gonna be thirty. But see, look, but but even even then, it changes though. You know, you know, I, 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 you know what I'm gonna say about that is, you know, you know where we from, right? So at the end of the day, you know, growing up out there where we from, we gotta have tough skin. Yeah. If you can't take a joke, bro, you could not come on that block. Yeah. Do whatever. Absolutely. So that's one of the jokes that's when all of us get together outside and say, if my son come home from college, he come out like he's six one. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So they be like, hey, he gonna hit the gym. They they be like, yeah, yeah, he definitely. Gym. They be like, they 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 be like, you know, keys tape. You know what I mean? Stick all up. They be like, hey yo, I think Malik could get you now. You know, I'll, you know what I mean? They be like, yes, I hope it never come to that, but I'll fuck him up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry, son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But you know, you gotta, you, you know, that's 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 just of the the neighborhood joke. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah. now nah, we had to have tough skin. That's why a lot of shit that happened. You know what I'm saying? We don't really worry about it unless we really, you know, it, it's it's a threat. Like we don't mm-hmm. really worry about too much. You know what I mean? Because you know, we been. We've been at that shit for so long. You bro. just hope that the tone keeps working forever. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. You don't, exactly. yeah. so. don't want to do nothing, but nah. it's like, hey, yo, didn't I say? 
Yo, what you say? But, but when you buck up like that and they buck up back, you gotta you gotta take you gotta it that step you further. Got oh, you gotta oh, do you gotta something. Take it step further. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta do something. Oh, so this, so, so what's this that, step ain't working no more. What's that buck up don't work no more? Oh, man. Especially that teenager. Yeah, yeah it's the relationship bro. too. Well, my, my son Absolutely. is my son is only two. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when I when I show my son love, honestly, that should be more for me. Than uh -huh. to be for him. Like yeah. when I when right. I hug my son, it's cause I need a hug. You know what I'm saying? Right. And he too, sometimes he pushed me off him. He be like, <laughs> right. he be like, yeah. I'm like, man, get your you ass over get here. Get your ass over here and give me a hug. You know what I'm saying? But I came up different. I ain't have a pops and shit. So right. having my kid, my boy, I'm I'm gonna give you mad love. But at the same time, I don't over baby him either. Like when he do shit he ain't supposed to be doing, I I hit him with the Without tone. Yeah. I Without hit him with the doubt. tone. Yeah. Hey, 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 what you doing? He he dropped whatever he's doing. He then he tried to run and give me a hug because he know he in trouble. Nah, bro, <laughs> I don't want of, no hug right now. Go, go sit down. That's a discipline. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So real. I don't. I believe a healthy balance is always a, per, a better. You know what I'm saying? A uh, 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 recipe uh, to get to your kids. Sometimes you gotta be hard on them. Sometimes you gotta show them a That's little bit more love. love. It's, you know it's, di it's different forms of of love you can show your child, man. Right. Without right. Without making them feel soft, like, as you were saying. Yeah, or you know I mean? making them feel like they not loved. Or making them feel like they not important. You exactly. Don't wanna, especially, especially when you other got kids other kids already. already yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to say, the girls can cuddle with me, but you got to sleep on the couch or some shit like that. Yeah, like, no. Nah. Then then after a while, you keep pushing them away. And then when your phone ain't ringing, when he out doing this thing, you're going to be wondering why my, your, son don't, your son don't show you no love. Because you ain't show him no. Push me away. For What's real? your thoughts on it, Puff? My thoughts is, um, I feel as though... When you when you when you showing love to your kids, man, and you're you're showing them different kinds of love. You know what I mean? You got the the passionate love, you got the affectionate love, and you got the disciplined right. love, and you got and the got love. The, from I, far. I got the whoop your ass. Yeah, you got, exactly. And you <laughs> yeah. got the far, That's the real. way the, the far. I, I call it the far away love, where the kids is away and they alone and all that, and they come up against something. They hear your voice in the back of their head. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This mm -hmm. the instructions and the path you gave them. You know what I mean? Like, don't do this, don't do that. Or what would your dad do? What would your parents would say? That's you. You installing something in them that's more important than than life. It's mm -hmm. knowledge. You know what I mean? And 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 the experience that you that you learn from and you giving it back to them. It's up to them to soak that knowledge up. Right. You've even been it embedded in their head. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I look at it as. I love I love my kids and I'm gonna show them not affection. I'm gonna hug not them. I'm gonna kiss them in front of their friends not and things like that. Like absolutely. come on, dad, chill. Not absolutely. Not then control. I'm gonna get on their ass too. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like I'm hard on my kids. You know what I mean? I'm 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 my kids' worst critics. You know what I mean? Right. I, I have to be. You know what I mean? Because ain't nobody gonna show my kids love like I can do. Can't right. can't nobody go out here and tell me what my son can do and what they can't do. Yeah. I know. I see it firsthand. Without a doubt. Yeah. You know Without what I mean? Doubt. So that 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 come and that's what comes back to football: the discipline, mm -hmm. discipline, and in, in, in yep. instruction. Got to come in. Got to mm -hmm. be grounded, man. Got to have balance, like you just said. Mm -hmm. Yo. I mean, without that, chaos. Yeah. One, one more thing to add on that, right? And what he said is right. You know, give your kids hugs. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. when I was gone, it's an old head in there. You know what I'm saying? And he told me, he said, man, listen, you go back out there, hug your kids. Mm -hmm. Tell them you love them all the time. Because I can't never get back out there to mm -hmm. do that tomorrow. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And that shit was heavy. It was heavy, bro, because he knew how much my kids meant to me. You know what I'm saying? When he told me that, heavy. Now, my yeah. boys, it's only one of them to say back, yeah, well, my oldest son, yeah. middle son, be like, hey, yo, I love you, boy. He be like, all right, dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, we don't have that. Yo, I swear, man, you get know something. We don't have enough of that in our community, bro. We don't have enough saying? of that in our community. You know what I mean? We, we, I see a lot of strides for, they be like, oh, ain't no more like deadbeat dads, the black man, black father ain't around. I'm starting to yeah. see more and more, yep. yeah, a lot, more fathers around now, mm -hmm. man. So a lot. that that like we need more of that. We need that more visual. I think, man. I think we on the opposite end of the generation that came up without dads. And I'm saying now the generation yeah. that came up without dads is having kids and now niggas is like, nah. Nah, we man, here now. We here now. You know what I'm saying? Now. That's a question that I was gonna um ask you about about earlier when you we first started the episode, but how do you guys feel about getting praise for doing something you're supposed to be doing? Like, I don't want people to be like, yo, you're such a you're doing what you're supposed doing, to do. I don't see this as a job, as a requirement. I'm, I'm doing this. Like, this is a natural uh, uh, movement for me. It's it from the host to happen. Right. right. So when, when people come out and be saying, oh, my God, right. yeah, you're doing such a great job. Or, listen, right. I don't want none of that. Because you know what? They're not used to seeing that. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? That's what not, they're not used to seeing us taking care of our kids, standing up, fighting for our kids, going to these schools, fighting the system. Fighting is justice. They, they're not used to. They're not right. used to seeing that. So when they see that, they're like, 
Oh well, who's doing it though? Is it a little white lady or is it a black? The white people oh, I hate. It's a, it's a white people I hate. Because honestly, society. sometimes I ain't gonna lie. I was like, yeah, but I'm, <laughs> you should. You should. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> to me, I'm doing my motherfucking thing with my son. You feel me? Without oh, a doubt. Right. For me, and, that, and that's a good thing. That's a good Without feeling. Because you're doing something. You feel me? Like For me, you, when it's white people, impact. I'm taking it somewhere maybe it shouldn't take it. Like if I'm coming out the grocery store with my son, they just, oh just my don't God, you're so like. Just don't touch my I know kid. what you're thinking. Like yeah. you You're not used to saying this. Yeah. We, we get paid. We, we, the, the, our character gets, right. you know what I mean, slander in the For worst real. way. Mm-hmm. We kill each other. We ain't affectionate. We in jail. You know what I mean? So when they see, oh, my God, they can take care of their own. Yeah. They, they can do stuff. Right. Can, oh, man, time to lock the doors now. Yeah. So yeah. they already feel like that yeah. now. Right. So when they see us doing good and all that stuff like that, they, they don't want to believe it. But then they got to they got to dang up. I don't even. I mean, I I accept the compliments. Whatever. My son gets complimented like all the time when I take him out wherever we at. Oh, your son is so cute or whatever like that. And yeah, thank you. But right after it's exchanged, it's out the door again. Like I'm back to what yeah. I was doing. It's not like right. You 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 uh, compliment me on my son, and it's like that's my mood for the day. Like this lady complimenting me at the store. Now mm-hmm. I'm Mister Compliment. Like you know what I'm saying? Right. After it's it's once it's over, it's over, and it's back to doing what I was doing before because the job's gonna get done regardless if the compliment comes or not. So I appreciate it if it comes. If not, then it's, it's whatever. I'm still doing what I'm doing. Yeah. My thing um, with the uh, topic that we're talking about. My son, my my youngest son is four. I tell my two oldest that I love them all the time. Um, now my son, who's four, I don't recall telling him that only like the kisses are for girls or things of that nature. So what I'm saying is like I'll reach out and kiss my son on the forehead, and he'll wipe it off. Yeah, with the <laughs> like, yeah, getting, it's like yeah, it's like yo, older, don't do that. I, he getting older, he that's that, but yeah. I don't know where he got that from. But he, I be it, wanting that type of like yesterday slow, TV. Getting older. Yesterday I yelled at him. Well, I don't know if I yelled at him. I just told him something that he should have been doing. I saw his face drop. So all the mag on my son come here. Come, come mm-hmm. sit with me. He like, nah, I want to sit with mom. All right. You don't know. You just hurt my feelings. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, right, right. You know, breathe with the boys, at the man. end of the day, right, they mama. Uh, a little boy is more attached to their mom. They mom, absolutely. You know I mean? absolutely. That's, like, that's like now, having a daughter, it's like, bro, I'm saying something completely different. <laughs> yeah. Something completely, and I love it. You hear me? I love it. My you situation different with that. I love it, I think it, my bro. son is more attached to me than anybody. Yeah, Keep but it a buck. he's two. You know what I'm he, I, th- I think it's phases. Too. Think it's I think it's time. It is phases. I think it's phases. I think I think it's phases. Like too. he'll be he'll be my little buddy for a minute, and then if I become disciplined guy, and I say I'm telling him to do shit he don't particularly want to hear, he might wave it to his moms or some shit. But Listen, bro, it'll roll over. He's I, I think, Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, my 17 year old son, man, I'm talking about, bro. I couldn't leave, go nowhere, do nothing without him. Mm. Now. Shit, that nigga come in the house, he barely speak to me. I'm like, God, <laughs> who the fuck is you? I'm like, yo, do you live here? Like, who the fuck is you? You know what I mean? That's how I be, but like I said, call you by your first name and shit. My <laughs> baby, though. What's up, go down, oh, though. Oh, my God, man. Right. You be Little the first to call. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> right, right. Or when he needs something. But when it get to that point, I'm cool with that. I'm shit. cool with that. You know where I'm going to be mm-hmm. if you need me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not always cool with that. I'm like, cool with that. Don't be using me. Nah, that's what it's going to be, bro. Still, still, I'm still not cool with that. Using you since birth. No, I know, but I still have feelings though. Like yeah. if I don't hear from you <laughs> in a minute, that. and your first text <laughs> message, <that. laughs> listen. If I don't hear from you in a minute, and your first text message is, "Dad, I need my uh, uh, this is what I want for my birthday." Like, whoa, nah. did you even check to see if I'm all right? Like, yeah, hey, hello. Hey, they don't care about that. Right. There's phases That's for coming. that too. I don't, think, I don't think they old enough to even take your feelings into I know, consideration. I know, first, but what like, I'm saying is, when he was like, "I don't right. want a hug from you." I still was hurt a little, but I yeah. understand. Yeah. I get mad, too. My son pushed he, me away. I mug him four. a little bit. Like, move then, punk. Before, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it's going to be, listen, man. Little boys go through them stages, bro. Know what I mean? My, man, but a little girl, please. So, <laughs> so, can we, but is there, can we make our boys soft? Can you? Like, is there such thing as too much love? I know we talked about a well-balanced meal when it comes to just loving our kids in general, mm-hmm. but can you actually make your son soft by giving him too much love? I, I mean, it's the baby. You know what I'm saying? As long as you don't have that that baby in stage around, you know what I mean? But it's hard, too, because the lady there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you chastising, 
lady natural instinct is, oh, don't do that. I gotta protect my baby. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. right. You get what I'm saying? Get his ass like, it's a, it's a, it's a difference. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's a difference. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's a, it's a big scale, bro. Well, he did say it's that big scale. the cuddling and the babying was his mom's job. So he's not saying that, um, that he's not going to get baby. But as a man, I'm not going to. He's he's saying as a man, I'm not going to play that part and give you any type of uh, 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 affection to be. Not affection, but I'm not going to help you become soft. In his mind, he mm-hmm. thinks he becomes soft. So I mean, but even that's with the like, mom doing her thing as fathers, can we show too much affection to make them soft? I mean, ain't like 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 Coach Meg said, ain't no right or wrong way. But again, I feel like a healthy dose of a little bit of anything will help him become a more rounded person as he's growing up because he's gonna have feelings. He ain't going to be walking around like a stone his entire mm-hmm. life, you know right, what I'm saying, right, and, right. and numb to anything that he experienced. He's going to have to sort through his feelings, too, and figure out how to guide those emotions because it's, it ain't like the kid is just 100% from the dad. Like, he's part of his mother, too, so he has some of her traits and how she maneuvers and things like that. So he got to fish through that as a person, and you got to be able to help him through that and got just not being it. able to – Telling them I'm not cuddling you. I'm showing you that side of me. That's for your mom. What if the mom not there? What if she knock on wood? God forbid, happens to pass away. Right. Then what? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like you still gotta be able to fill that void for him. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, like, it's it's oh, go ahead, bro. It, it, it's guidance. You you get what I'm saying? Like you really gotta die. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, all us we all got our kids somewhere else. They not coming up really where we from. Right. So they not saying. What we saying growing up, know how to pay attention to Absolutely. that. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? So being that we been through that and seen it, we got to install it in them without them being there to see it all yeah. the time. Right. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. That's like I asked my son Which one time, task, you know what I mean? Right, it is. It's, it's hard. It's hard because they going to brush you off. Right. They ain't seeing it, so they ain't right. going to believe you. They ain't going like, to take you serious. We pick up the guidance. They don't. You know yeah. what I mean? I asked my son one time, man, you know, he was about 15, 16. I think he was yeah, 15, 16. I said, yo, if you in the mall... And, you know, you see a dude, you know, he look at you one time, you with your boys, he walk past. Next time you see him again, he got his hoodie up, he walk past. Now you see him again, he ain't got his hoodie on, but he walking towards you. What you going to think? Man, my son looked at me, bro, he said, nothing. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's the guy is, bro. You get what I'm saying? Right. Being where we from, bro, like, you know what I mean? And I told him, I said, bro, you got to pay attention to this yeah, shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't be naive to it. You know what I'm saying? But being that we raising our kids different, you know what I'm saying? They different from, you know, the kids from out the way. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If a kid from out the way that happened, they like, oh, stay on point. Our son's not like that. Is that because from being out there and not having a father figure or just having somebody uh, there for you or us, you had to learn it on your own. Like, you had to come with them instincts. But now, that, but now that fathers are there, they can relax a little bit. You can and you can't. Right. You get what I'm saying? They can and they can't, but are they doing that? Do you think that might be it? It was just like, or is that just the world that we live in? Like, kids are more happier. They more happier and spoiled. Spoiled. Yeah. So they don't pay attention to shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. I want you, I'm, I'm, I'm gearing you up to win, like my oldest son, bro. I mean, like his mom wasn't, you know, me and his mom wasn't together. Yeah. You know I mean? So his guidance and, and, and learning from me was different, you know what I'm saying? Because it wasn't the mom there to say, don't do that. You know what I mean? It was my mom there, and my mom was on the same path as I'm on. Mm-hmm, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So it was like, where he's at in school up in Connecticut, I know he's smart enough to know everything going on. He's paying attention to shit. I don't have to worry about that. You know what I'm saying? And my youngest son, he over the bridge. You know what I mean? So it's like, got to pay attention to more of what's going on. Because, you know, like, regardless of the times that I did have him outside, still didn't live out there. He don't right. have that. He don't have that Instinct. inner yeah. You, you yeah. get what I'm trying to yeah. say? He I don't do. have yeah. that in him. So it's like, you got to try and guide him the right way to get him to understand when the situation looks serious, when the situation's not that serious. You know what I mean? And it is kind of hard. You know what I mean? Because... Like you said, they listen, they don't listen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is kind of hard, you know what I mean? But you want to put that in them, you know what I mean? Because you don't want nothing to happen, you know what I mean? But if it do, you want to know what to do. Basically, yeah, what you're yeah. saying is, like, yeah, we all grew up in the section, 
But if I had that choice, I've had opportunity, I'm not going to raise my son in the section or in a, 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 an environment that way. I'll bring him, bring him or her around, but you're still not going to get that full vibe because you're not living and surviving in that situation. Exactly. Right. You're exactly. still right. going home to daddy and mommy's house where you are sheltered, protected, loved, right. and fed. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I tell my sons that every day. Of man. course, right. of course, right. you're going right. to not have that instinct because you're. I technically could. I think it's I think it's other shit as well that we could tell them to pay attention to. Not that might be more involved with millennial shit. Like know when you talking to a fake page on Facebook and that yeah, bitch yeah. trying to set you up or some shit like that. <laughs> that too. You know what I'm saying? Like you paying that attention to shit like that. This bitch got two pictures up and they super zoomed in. And she got fucking 88,000 mutual friends. Like, well, you really right. going to be talking to this bitch trying to send someone going, right. shit like that. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Because th- that's, that's, that's more good, the though. type of shit that's going on. That's good, though, because their time is social media. Right now, yeah, that's, they if, you ask us, there, if you right. ask us what's popping on social media, they might could school you more on it than, than we oh, know. Oh, now, man. that's their world. There's Teach me a little bit, son. No, right. some stuff I don't even but know. When it comes to the real world, well, come, I want to say real world because what they're going through is the reality right now. Yeah. When it comes to what we know, and that's the streets, and it's how we survived out there, we got to, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're not going to know. They right. don't understand yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Like, don't I got my, my youngest son, but back to the, the question, my, my youngest son, my wife spoils him a lot, man. Like, baby him and stuff like that. I'm like, man, you got to chill with that. You know what I mean? Chill with the baby and you treat, treat him like a baby, going to act like a baby. So it was, I mean, the youngest kid or whatever, complex syndrome or whatever, but I moved my kids out of war protection because I didn't want them growing up the way I did. Right. Because, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't no shame in that. Like, I see Without people like, you know, people put on Facebook, y'all left the hood and blah, blah. You got that right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Bro, I, I'm, I'm trying to make better for... You got that I'm right. trying to make... Trying to breed up, upstanding citizens, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to break that that stigma. You know what I mean? That where you come from is going to hurt you or bring you down. Like, no, I'm, I'm trying to show my kids it's a whole different world outside of the community that I came from. You know what I mean? I'm trying to show them a, a broader horizon. You know what I mean? And I'm showing them... And I'm showing them both worlds. I'm showing them that you could end up here, you could be here. It's a blessing to have two parents in the household showing you and providing yeah. for you. You know yeah. what I mean? I said, y'all should be for thankful real. every day because a lot of kids, I, I put my kids back in programs back here, and I tell my sons, I'm like, listen, everybody don't come from where you come from. Everybody got work three times as harder. People don't eat at night sometimes. Mm-hmm. Kids go to school just to eat. Yeah. You know what I mean? P- kids got parents that's locked up in jail. They ain't showing them guidance. I said, y'all should be consider yourselves lucky. Mm. You know what I mean? And I, I explain that to them all the time. Take advantage of it. You know what I mean? Don't just sit back on it. Take advantage of it. Appreciate it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's Absolutely, why. Man. Only we if love we can see what we, we didn't know. It, That's exactly. why we love exactly. what we But these hey, brothers man. got intelligent in here today, man. Yeah, that was man. the most intellectual talk we had in a minute. I like that. <laughs> so, I want to talk a little. Bit, I want to talk a little bit about R. Kelly, man. Did any of y'all see that? You're killing me. <laughs> You're killing me. This ain't I don't about watch. music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it. <laughs> yo, he sounds just like the dude. Yo. Yo, Stop I playing, watch, man. Huh? I ain't watching none of that. I hope this guy going to keep rolling. <laughs> yo, man. I looked at, I looked at 15 crazy, parts man. of when that first thing was going on with the parents. The parents. Yeah. I want to talk about that, too. Yeah, he has man. my daughter. I want to talk about that, he too. he won't get them. That's and in crazy. my mind, I start scratching yeah, my head. Yeah, absolutely. You as a parent. Wait, what they say? The parents were saying he has my daughter and he won't let her go. What do you mean he won't let her go? So I scratch my head as a newly father to a little girl, right? Mm-hmm. For bitch got my daughter anywhere. <laughs> man. So the argument, the <laughs> argument is she's of age. I don't give a shit. I, I don't give care. a I don't care. No, I don't care. Man. I don't care. I, don't I, don't care. I don't understand. Not, right. I don't if you care. have my daughter anywhere, you know, I'm I'm preparing myself now for the first time when my daughter's in daycare or anything like that. And little whoever pushes her. Yeah. I'm preparing myself for that now yeah. because I know how I feel about my it, daughter. It's an anxiety you know that mean? won't go away. Like my son yeah, goes to a uh, preschool and even just I just don't trust none of the kids there. You nah. know what I mean? Like what? Nah. No matter because no you're a little kid's background. I don't, I don't know, you know the kids. I, mean? I don't yeah, know if they exactly. just some kids are just born stocky. And they just yeah, some kids bad. are bad Aggressive. as hell. Some kids <laughs> are just born. Some kids are just bad. <laughs> and you know what's so crazy, right? <laughs> Is that my girl said, my wife said all the time that uh, we gonna get paid back for Nas. 
because when he was little in nursery school, bro, uh-huh. every day we went to get him. And this nigga so- did some shit. He, <laughs> he was bad as hell. So it's now, karma coming back. Now, 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 my youngest son, the way he act, bro, he act like he born and bred out the way. Ain't never live out the way. That's how he act, bro. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Oh, I know, I like, know. I yeah, I know you know. I'm but this shit was crazy, bro. We used to go to school. Man, you look at the little kid, bro, face all messed up. And they'd be like, yo, do he watch a lot of football? Be like, yeah, well, he got brothers, and I watch football, too. Mm-hmm. Well, he came in, put his coat down, and then he tackled three kids. <laughs> <laughs> the lady used to be like, it was a hell of a form tackle, but he can't do that. Yeah. I like your form. Yo, you I'm that. telling you, every day, bro, oh, every day That's he got in trouble. So it's like I'm preparing myself for it because, like I said, I know. Kids are kids, but, bro. It's but anxiety that won't go away. And you know back I mean? to R. Kelly, though, it's just weird. Like for that, Kelly, for for the nuts. for the parents to say they can't get them, I don't know. I don't know what he did to these girls for them not to be able to reach their parents or not want to talk to their parents or like, I don't know. But then he gets on camera doing this interview saying like he's denying all of it. My nigga, yeah. he's like completely yeah, denouncing sh- all of it. It's like, kind of crazy. Know. He and always like, denies shit. Crazy. And then you know this is, so that shit got me thinking. Right, I'm like playing devil's advocate, like. What if this nigga is innocent, right? And he really pleaded his case dead serious, telling the world, I didn't do this. You're not talking about the one before. You're talking about now, right like now? Right now, right now. Okay, yeah. now? Oh, yeah, because I thought you were talking about the ones before. No, 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 is that everything they're accusing him of now is might be worse than before because they feel as if he got away before. So we gonna get him again. Oh, yeah. So now and we gotta beef they up like the bitch, we mm-hmm. gotta get him this time. Yeah. Then we see this though. We OJ, see OJ, three OJ? Times. without OJ? a doubt. Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby, Bill without Cosby. a doubt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like we're without not gonna get you. We're not gonna get you for what the original charges. <laughs> without are. a doubt. Oh, oh, so we're gonna get you for something think else. He's slick, huh? Yeah. Nice little lawyer and shit. All right, nigga, we're going to see your ass in 15, yeah, 20 years. Without a doubt. <laughs> and that's the thing he better again? realize. Yeah, They're exactly. going to get him for that old shit. Bro. Exactly. My, my thing with it is, is I'm going to speak on from a father's perspective, just like right. you. Like I said, I'm glad you took it there. Um, growing up, they told us that the reason why uh, the black families and the kids in general aren't doing so good is because the father's not around, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what they told us. I have an issue with this based on her father being in her life. Mm-hmm. and her dating a man older than her father. And I said, that don't make sense. Because they told me that if dad was in their life, the daughter wouldn't chase a male, a father figure. Right. R. Kelly also said that the parents kind of introduced their daughter to R. Kelly in hopes of a record contract. I got to go to say that there's something fishy about the father and the mother <laughs> right. and the daughter. Because there's that no way. Almighty. Yeah. Right. I'm, <laughs> we need to, not only does R. Kelly need to, you know what I mean, go through his time and I hope he gets found guilty because I, I think he is... Uh, doing something, if not now, then. So getting for whatever. We also got to still talk about these parents who are selling their kids right. away oh, this, for a con for that's money. Bug, man. Think about I, it. Why would this? Why would that young lady who has a father in her life go date somebody older than her father? They told us that the girls did that mm-hmm. because their fathers went around. Right. So I got to go. Wait a minute. Well, she got a father. So why does she still do it? I'm, that's why I'm confused yeah, as a somebody's dad. story ain't what they say. Somebody's they, story. Somebody ain't right. Somebody's story. Somebody ain't right. right. I just can't see a young lady wanting to be with somebody that's 50 plus and you're 17 if you're not looking for that father figure. Because I thought mm-hmm. that's what it was. Why it we ain't. did dumb things that we did. It oh, ain't. we out here being dumb because we ain't got a dad. But she's out there being, looking. she's out there dating older men because she ain't got a dad yeah. in her life. Yeah. So what's this? I don't get Check, it. bro. Now, when, yeah. he, when, he, when he said... They gave their kids to me. And I'm like, whoa, bro. Right. You gonna say that? Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? like, that's 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 crazy, yo. Like, that's crazy. How else would that happen? She's 17. So, yeah. Not, so yeah. how did you leave the house? How did you <laughs> And then he flying 15 to, oh. the mom let the from, girl get on a plane? Right. Like, from huh? like Florida like, to Chicago and like, shit. Yo, for like weekends at a time. Like, like what you that? mean? And you're not and you you're not going? That's you know what I hate? Mom and dad should be in court too. You yeah. know what I hate? Fast. I agree with that. You know what I hate? I hate when you try to have an open opinion about stuff and people say, what if that was your daughter? Let me tell you all a little story, right? My <laughs> daughter, right? Because I'm a father, <laughs> so I'm out here doing my job. Ooh, right. I can still have an open opinion. My daughter signed up for a program. And I can't remember what it was because it was short-lived. Let me tell you why. Basically, she was in this program, right? And I was okay, cool. Set you up and everything. The first week... They said that all the girls was going to stay the night at 
the the guy's house or whatever. I mm-hmm. said, no, you're not. And you out this program. <laughs> Without so a don't, doubt. So don't ask me. So don't tell me what if my daughter, my daughter ain't. Exactly. My daughter will not. Exactly. Even with the Michael Jackson exactly. situation. What if oh that was your daughter? God. Oh, Well, my first God. off, you're not staying at Mike's house. Without a doubt. I don't. Mike is the greatest. Yo, that was no, you're not. I don't that know this bug. money. You know that was bug. But we need to still talk about the parents who are selling their Yo, children. That's that was why. Bug. That, that story it's, it's, was bug. I didn't watch that. I don't watch that. You got to watch, watch that. I don't even look at that. You got to watch I mean, I don't. I don't look at none of it, bro, because I'm, that shit is trash. Bro. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say one thing. thing. When they was like, they this parent from overseas or whatever. Mike had a sleepover. So the parents in the other room while they son was in a room with Mike. What type of what shit kind of is shit? that? That sound like that, that, show, that, sound like that, that. show Abducted like, in Plain Sight. Like, come on, man. That shit was going on there. Like, shit you in the crazy. other room, other parents were like, yeah, we had lovely the wine, fuck? and they was wine and dining us. And, and nobody and, asked them, like, Mike, why the fuck the kids sleep in the year room? Like, <laughs> yeah, why, why did I stay with the right. parents? And they, they right. down the hall. Or, or but why the kids don't have a all their own room? I mean, it's common sense. It's common sense. Like, why aren't all the adults in here and all the kids in there? Why is one grown-ass man? With all these kids. At the same time? come on, man. At the same time? I gotta be bugged, I heard the feds. That shit just sounds. I heard the feds couldn't find nothing on Mike for, for as long as they investigated. And if the feds ain't find nothing, I don't know then, what you want me to And say. they find everything. They find everything. They, so they, they find everything. But at the end of the day, it goes back to that almighty, to money. almighty, that money, almighty that green money, dollar. Yeah. If that money not right, we running we with running. it. We running. We going here. That money right. Get what I'm saying? That money was right, I bro. was listening to the Joe Button podcast, right? And they said something that kind of made sense. I didn't see the documentary, but this part might have been in there. I don't know. Do we all remember when Macaulay Culkin started hanging around Mike? Yeah. Nah. I not remember really that. not. I, I remember, remember that. the story, but remember so that. so when the kids were in Mike's life, however they were, and then Macaulay Culkin came along, it kind of like got them jealous. And mm-hmm. that's when the whole thing happened. Cause it's like Macaulay Culkin became Mike's new best friend. <laughs> yeah. So And they were like, oh no, man. Like that's crazy. Man. <laughs> Hating ass kids. So man, crazy, but man. but um <laughs> But yeah, so basically, Macaulay even with Cochran the Michael Jackson, star. even with the Michael Jackson and the R. Kelly situation, man, like I want to see whoever, if you did it, I want to see you go down for it. But we also need to talk Without about these parents, man, because like that's not being talked. Yeah, they about. just as guilty. They if they and guilty. if they are just just, just, guilty. just sending their kids off to a complete stranger, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yo, with no repercussion, you no, just gonna send your kid off like that? About it. Like, I was, you're not even gonna send like, like you send your kid like, off to go to even college. Send her, to go a representative school. of you yeah. to go and yeah, your yeah, place yeah, to right. nothing. Exactly. You're just gonna send her on. Like right. I'm not sending my my 14 year old, 15 year old daughter to a grown ass man, and I'm not there. I like, never spoke crazy. about this, but even this, and like rest in peace to Aaliyah. But how did she even get married? How was she even no. alone? With that grown forged, ass man? They forged her. Her. her Money, um, man. But what was she? 14. 15, 15, 15, 15, 16. Mom and dad. His road manager forged the. um, I get it. But where was the parents? But where's the parents? Right. Right. That's what I'm saying. Mom and dad. Mom and dad was getting money. All the neighbors, bro. Like, that's that's crazy, man. I was watching this one video on YouTube, right? It's a funny story about Mike. And they was talking about how uh, some people actually tried to pay them to lie on Mike. And they just, like, they wouldn't do it. But they was like, one story was they was in Neverland, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Bubbles had bit one of the sons. Yeah, I heard of that. And they said, um,. (laughs) It was African dude or something, right? Uh, yeah. Af- yeah, he. I, I don't know what nationality he is, but he just uh, he was a black dude. They said Bubbles had bit one of the sons, and they told Mike. They said Mike Bubbles bit him. They said Mike went over there and hit him with a twenty piece. <laughs> they <laughs> said <laughs> Mike fucked Bubbles up. <laughs> 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 They said, yo, Mike Real. got it. They said Mike was fast. Real. They said Mike had. I heard about that shit a while ago. Comedian said that shit. They bro. said Mike beat the Real. shit out of Bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> Real, bro. bro. Yo, I was cracking up, man. For Real. Shout out to Flower Wall to see that, that shit. shit. They said, <laughs> they said, they ain't no Mike, Mike that pants. fucking monkey way too much. Son, they said, Mike, what he fucked Bubbles up. For real, yo. He probably was kicking him. <laughs> shit, crazy. Man. He love that fucking monkey way too much. Did you touch those kids? Did you touch this camera on me? Yes. Oh. That's stupid. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, this dude. Yo, that's yeah. crazy. All right, Some so we shit, like man. to play a little game on the podcast called Fresher Fiasco. Where we uh, give y'all a scenario. Y'all tell us whether it's Fresher Fiasco and just tell piece. us why. So with that being said, Fresher Fiasco. Popeyes ain't even got 20 piece. <laughs> Continuing on with the R. Kelly topic, R. Kelly crying face to replace the MJ crying face. Fresher fiasco. Y'all familiar with the MJ crying face? Yeah, Yeah, that's classic. That's So now R. Kelly's crying face, social media is trying to replace it with that. I think it's fresh, right? I think it's fresh because R. Kelly's crying face comes at a moment 
of a nigga crying where he should be mocked. Right? The nigga's <laughs> crying about some shit that we all suspect that you did. And you're sitting in this interview trying to convince the whole world that you did it. To whereas, on the other hand, Jordan's crying face came from, he was giving his Hall of Fame speech. Like, <laughs> the man was being awarded for something great, and niggas made a mockery out of that shit. So, that's legendary. You know, that's it is legendary. legendary. But come on, you break it down every time you see that shit. Every time he said, come on, man, it's my fucking. He probably can't even watch his Hall of Fame speech. Like, no. <laughs> he probably got the jacket still in the plastic in the back of the closet, like he just got it from the jacket. Break it down like that. I get it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go with it's fresh for replacing it because R. Kelly. His face deserves to be mocked in that hog time. Oh, why would I hog time? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. That's the new. That's the new uh, crying face. I'm gonna go fiasco what? because I know what you said, but I think that was the, that was a Hall of Fame speech where Mike wasted was spent most of his time talking about the people who said he wasn't going to make it. Hmm. So in a way, he wasn't really thanking nobody. Bro. He was just like, "Yo, Fuck my high that. school coach." And I think that's where the tears came from. The tears came from the emotion of actually calling out everybody yeah. who said he wasn't shit. <laughs> he was I, cut. They cut. What's wrong with that? He was hurt, <laughs> bro. I said it once before, I'm, man. When you make it to the top, listen, it's the perfect time to shit on niggas that said you ain't get to the top. <laughs> <laughs> it's been the perfect time. He's been the greatest for 30 years. Fight that. Listen, fight that. Mike, nah. 50 years old, still talking about the elementary My high school coach in third grade. You cut me? Fuck you. I'm all the fame. I'm a motherfucking gym teacher. said I wasn't able to let it Enough, fuck you, Hall of Fame. Yeah. All of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. I'm going to go fiasco, uh, man. That, that face, the MJ face is classic just for that. That Hall of Fame speech was more about the people who said he couldn't make it than him actually saying, hey, I made it thanks to everybody who supported me. I don't think he thanked nobody who supported him. He just was like, yo, He's my like, high school coach. He thanked coach, them already. He thanked them already over the years. Fiasco. I was like, I'm nasty, bitch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> coach Puff, fresh and fiasco. I think it's a fiasco, man. I don't think we need to have R. Kelly up there looking all crazy, man. He did he it going, to himself. He, he did it to himself, but I, I don't think that's the image that we need to have a going around like when somebody mess up oh Got R. Kelly right. face right. I mean, nah right. nah but, uh, I don't I don't think he should be he should represent be, nothing nah, nothing without at all without a doubt, mm. with, with, without with, a doubt. If, you know what I mean if he is guilty of all these crimes and all that he shouldn't be be apprehended like that man without he shouldn't be praised or, or make mock man get out of here Cavs for real get out of here if you fresh if a fiasco you. man Coach Puff took everything out my mouth man <laughs> when it concerned the kids bro when you doing shit wrong the kids bro I can't fuck with nah, absolutely nah, for nah, real I don't get down with that gotta, hate, right. gotta hate fresh a fiasco Dave East is set to play Method Man in the Wu-Tang <sighs> Saga documentary fresh a fiasco he's like 6'7 ain't he yeah he's tall dude tall. right yeah yeah Meth tall yeah, yeah. um uh, Honestly, I don't really give a fuck. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can he act? That's one more. Do he look like him or can he act? Like, which one more is it? Well, that the documentaries, like documentaries ain't really trying to pick who you look like. I just recently watched doing a real. So, oh, so you on some funk flex playing Michael Jackson shit then? Listen, listen. Well, I just watched <laughs> that was the, the worst. By the I just way. watched the Aaliyah joint, just the end of it, and the dude they had playing Dame Dash just threw the book out the uh, window. Oh, yo, yo, didn't, yo. My man, didn't my man that played R. Kelly look yo. like Joe? Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. Lifetime, me they done. asked yeah. me, yo. For so real. I don't think we're really going on who looks like who really. <laughs> so all that. That's another important yourself. question. I don't too. think meth he age could. at all, yeah. man. He's 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 real. Real. And he can act. Meth was in the wire. I'm going to go <laughs> fiasco because I fear that Dave East might play the role too good and then just be known as Method Man. Because, you know, when you act, you actually become that yeah, person. You get into yeah. that, that role. So here you are as Dave East, a young up and coming rapper, and you want to have people looking at you like, yo, that's meth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm yeah. Go fiasco. Especially if you if play it too if well. If you play it too well. Oh, Everybody just, like, oh, no, nah, I don't know your music, but I know you as meth. I know you as meth. Nah, I, mean. I just fear that. So I'm going to go <laughs> yeah, fiasco. Yeah, I can rap. Uh, yeah, nigga. Can you rap that Method Man song? <laughs> 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 yeah, nigga, that's fine and well, but uh, I want to yeah. hear that Method Man song. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm what a, you got? I'm going to go with fiasco, man. It, can't nobody play meth, man. Mm. But meth. Meth can actually still play meth. He still can play yeah, meth. You I know what I mean? Like, I don't, can play meth I don't meth. think. Oh, yeah, I just don't see it though. Yeah, I just don't yeah. see him. I it's just don't see the, like, the resemblance or anything. It's not like, like that. O'Shea Jackson playing Ice Cube and NWA. It's not. You know what I'm saying? That don't. It don't get no better than that. Nah, that's that's his son. He, You're right. But like it ain't him. even. It's not even on the same radar for me. Um, I, I I I hope he does well, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say fresh though, man. Word up, because I think that'll be that'll be good for Davies too, and. 
and you got to look at it like this, man. To be picked to play meth, who is legendary, mm-hmm. that's dope, bro. Yeah. That's, that's facts. That's you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's dope. And salute to uh, rappers that get more than one bag. Yeah, I mean, that's so dope. I'll give him yeah, that. Double that's that. dope, bro. Yeah, Double that. Sure. Hopefully, you can jump into a whole different avenue. I because got my, myself a 40. Bro. I got <laughs> you know. myself a shorty. And I'm about to go in. Yo, that was the that's, that's legendary, yeah, bro. Yeah, and yeah. Davies, Yo, he coming now, up off now that. Now, when bro. he do shit like that, he got to kill up. it. Like he, he gotta kill but, that, but that this is what I'm saying though, right? Kill it. I don't know how Dave East fan base is yeah. over in like China and all that. Well, he, right. but, but he about to get some recognition. Think about it, yeah. Bro. yeah. Think about he, it. He can go worldwide off for this. For them yeah. to put him in that role, man, that's, that's huge. Major, this is Wu Tang we talking about. Like, world, worldwide. Yeah. They, but they love, love them over in there. China. They love him. They, they definitely bro. more popping to this day. And even though they came out in 93, 92, 93, oh, to this day, if you go over there, oh my it's God. still is what it is. Oh still go crazy, God. man. Over here, we fickle. Oh, well, to them old niggas hey, no more. Gonna yeah. Over there? Be a God over there, there now, bro. Mm-hmm. Yo, overseas is so bro. different when it comes to hip hop, man. I think they love it more than us. The honest. dudes over here can go get me wild money over there, but they can't tour in the United States. That's that's why I like the game, the rapper. Every time you see him, he's overseas. He don't tour in America. That's because they idolize, like you said, Americans. When it's here, like, you how do you not? You got five yeah. minutes in America. Oh, you Word got up. five minutes. Oh, you listening to who? Man, nigga, get that nigga the fuck off stage. We don't listen to that nigga no more. Word nigga, up. you listening to the young techie tech. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then you go, over, you go over Steve's with these countries and these people idolize and mimic everything hip hop stars and athletes do. That shit stick way longer. Real, the that longevity in the longer. game now is just Real, man. so short, man. Man, them niggas, a lot of them niggas now is trash, man. Yeah. That blue face nigga, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still ain't listen to that song you got with Cardi. Like, I, even, I, I ain't, ain't listen to it to. neither. I just heard bits and pieces of it. Man, right. them niggas. I heard that nigga in one interview say, uh, I don't rhyme on beat or none of that like that. Some shitty shit, bro. Proud, too. Yo, they took, nigga, they took the craft and just... Trash, bro. Yeah, I they, still they completely man. tore it apart. I stood my ground. I didn't listen to no 6 9 I just don't listen to none of that music. Never. I, I never liked it. No matter how many times people say, yo, he got some... Nah, I just ain't never He got one song it. that I did like, though. I can't lie. I never they for the kids it. now, man. They for the kids. It is for the kids. It's for the kids. And I told my sons not to listen to him. Once I found out that shit he did with the girl... Who? Yeah. Oh, six, yeah, nine. six nine, yeah. bro. I told my son, my son was listening to him one day. Yo, don't listen to that nigga. Anybody. Like, you know, some Shout out shit. to my son, because my son will walk around listening to Tupac and DMX. Yeah, and he, man. He an old, old soul, man. Yo, him, man. I'm in the car the other day. Now you're a rat. And my little man, <laughs> my, my <laughs> oldest so son, was listening to the uh, 90s radio. I'm like, yo, you should yeah. listen to that. He was like, oh, I... From you, damn! I'm like, oh, so you are watching? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, right. Right. So you know what it is, then? For real, bro. <laughs> Yo, one day, one day, a few years ago, this is funny though. I was listening. I was with my daughter, and I'm always talking to her about like older hip hop, like Tupac and Biggie, and things like that. So one day, we was listening to Biggie was on the radio, and I think it was going, going back, back to Cali. My daughter was like, hey, dad, you right. No, my daughter was like, uh, yeah, I think Tupac better. I just started cracking up. <laughs> she just didn't like that song, but she judged Biggie. But she judged his whole catalog. <laughs> She's like, hey, yo, hey, dad, nah. They I had like to Tupac be better. They had to be uh, there. Tupac. Right. They had they to be Tupac. Going they back had to Cali be there. definitely means something. Like, yeah. you just, if, if you weren't there and know what he was talking about, right. or, yo, in 97 when that dropped, around that time, you couldn't tell the hood nothing, nothing. about the album. Oh, man. Nothing tell the nothing. Was, but the kids definitely aren't going to get it. But it was just funny to me that she would say that, man. Girls are just sharp. Yeah. But last one, fresh fiasco, last one, man. Will Smith is set to play Serena and Venus' dad in a movie. But the kicker is the dad is dark skin. <laughs> fresh <Yo>. fiasco. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, they made Kyrie Irving look like an old-ass man. I can't see why they would make True. Will Smith dark skin like... This makeup, they got technicians, professionals at that shit. <laughs> that is a... I don't... I don't... <laughs> but then again, it's one of those things like, are you looking for an exact replica or are you looking for quality acting? We're, like, we're looking for money. <laughs> right. Yeah, <laughs> going to Will Smith. Will Smith. Right. right. Yeah. But we're looking for money. But you, you know you're going to get your money's worth out of Will. Yeah, you're you know going to get your money's worth, but guess what? If we have whoever, whoever play, 
right? They ain't like going to go see that shit. They might want to see it. But now we have Will Smith play the dad. Oh, they going to come. Everybody want to see yeah. it. It's yeah. Will yeah. Smith. You know what I mean? Like, I hate to throw him under the bus, but in, in my head, well, I'm going to go fiasco. I'm going to go fiasco just because I think there's so many other uh, Man, you people could have played. I'm not hating on Will. First thing Getting jiggy with it, ass nigga. Because guess what? Because guess what? When he played Ali, I said, great choice. He looks great. Oh, just like God. Ali. Yeah. Will, was, Will a chameleon, though. If he was to have yeah, played, doubt. if he was to have played Barack Obama, I don't think that happened. But I think it was in talks. I would say that's a good job. But instead of being play a dark skinned guy, it was like you could have got like Ildris Alba or somebody. Like just so south, yeah. do we? Could have oh, got somebody. Bro. Good call. Ooh, that, is, that, is, that is. That is. Good but call. is Will Smith a bigger draw? Yes. Without so, a doubt. I get it, but I'm just going to fiasco. Do we really fiasco. care that her, their dad was like dark skin? Well, that was the topic. Like, nobody's going to pay wouldn't no have, mind. I wouldn't have paid no mind hey, if that wasn't nah. on some real shit. It's just a draw to get Mr. Will to do it. Mr. Williams can walk past the door right now. I would not know it would That's be true, but you're playing. We just talked about Dave East looking like Method Man. Does Will Smith resemble anything of Serena? Right, y'all get a chance. Look, look, look him up. <laughs> look Serena's dad up. I see him. I'm looking at him right, <laughs> right now. Right now. <laughs> look him up yeah, right now. He don't look nothing like him. He don't himself. look nothing like him. But He's like straight I said, from Louisiana, a, but the bottom. A, he looks like it too. What's his name? It's a, it's a, um, it's, it's a marketing Williams? move, man. I forgot his name. Yeah, it's a marketing. I didn't know him as Mr. Williams. I got to get that man respect. For raising yeah. two of the, the yeah, strongest yes, yes, black women yes, in this war game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The in yeah right there, Will Smith, bro. bro. He, he looked like me and Joe Green. <laughs> nah, you know who needs to play him? My man who was uh, dating Kamara Lee Simmons. My man. Oh, the, uh, the African dude. Ball head dude. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. who we need to be. Yo, Jabba would have pulled that off. Yeah, he would have pulled that off. That's what I'm saying. He would have pulled that off. That was a good call. Yeah, Will Smith would have pulled that off. But with Will... It's gonna bring a whole different type of audience, man. Oh, but no, so, but no. it's just our audience is crazy too, though. Not like Will. You don't think so? Hell no. I don't think no, they support man. the just like they would support. Fuck no. You it's just so? in 2019. It's just Albert famous of being a drug dealer. Mm. They ain't gonna support it like that. Yeah, you know I mean? in 2000, like do I don't think he did enough yet. Like, had he would have did 007 already, th- had he oh, did no, movies, I think he should have did that, man. He yeah. I'm mad he turned that down, yo. Those would have pushed yeah. him, but he, yeah, he keeps doing these. I'm he mad. got a reggae, mad he he got a reggae down. record out now. It's lit. I'm I mad he turned that down, man. <laughs> he would have did 007, bro. Do, it would have been major. That would have been huge, break. man. Because then you're going to pull in big, everybody from I think he angle. was worried about you know the man? backlash from the other side of him playing it. You know he, he, got the he, was of, he got the suaveness. He got the suaveness to pull the, double, the, uh, the James Bond shit off. He, and, and he talked like he's from there. You know what I mean? Right. Oh, he's from there. He from yeah, there. that's why he made Martini. from there, yo. He would have killed that, bro. Whatever James Bond fucking slow. That would have been dope, man. All right, so we got just one more uh, topic r- real quick, and that's the fuck is you doing. So y'all can just relax. Normally, it's fresh thing. Hey, listen, thing. Cool. this week, I'm normally doing the fuck is you doing, but uh, Flaw has decided that he wants to give this honorable mention to somebody who really deserves it this week. So here we go. Fuck is you doing? Fuck is you doing? Yeah. Wish me luck. I'm about to go in. This is the first time doing this. First time doing this segment. <laughs> fuck is you doing? Fuck is you doing? Bitch ass nigga, fuck is you doing? So, fuck is you doing is normally done by my brother Fresco. But I said, hey man, let me do it this week. I got something. I got something I want to get off my chest. It's something that's been bothering me. And I want to talk to Puff. Not Coach Puff, who's sitting here and helped us deliver this dope episode on 127 of the podcast, brothers. I'm talking about Sean Puff Daddy Combs. <laughs> Puff, what the fuck is you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you got on, you had the audacity, the gall, to get on social media and say you should have married Kim Porter. There's so many problems with that. Me, like, you know what type of time we in, especially with women, black women, and how they feel about uh, uh, colorism, about how they feel about being represented and being protected by us, the black man, by men in general. So for you to wait till Kim Porter, the mother of your child or two of your children, I don't, I can't call off the top of my head. So I'm not just going to put babies on y'all. The mother of your child, the one that was there, not first, but probably one of the original women in your corner when you weren't this global superstar and you didn't marry her to wait till she die to say I should have married you is the ultimate slap in the face to black mm. women and you make us look bad Combs 
Because what we can see <laughs> is you on social media crying over Cassie. Oh, my God. You cried over her. You let us know you miss her. And you on Instagram liking her pictures with her new boo. You just doing the most. <laughs> we also... We also, <laughs> we, <laughs> we also saw how emotional you were when you lost Jennifer Lopez. I mean, I need a girl part we one. We got some hit records out of that. Fire. We got some hit records out of that one. I need a girl. It's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> what I need <laughs> is a pretty one. <laughs> J Lo hurt your feelings, and you let the world know that you want J Lo and you want her back. You hated on so many of her new boyfriends. J-Lo just got engaged, too, bro. The cheater. How do you, so how you how feel you love, about that? How you love that? How you love that, boy? <laughs> <laughs> you shown love to so many women who really didn't have your back. They just wanted to be part of what you were doing. J-Lo just wanted her music to get pushed. Let's keep it a buck. She started popping when she started messing with you. Her music career took off when she got with you, buddy. And then when she started hooking up with Murder Inc. and she realized she didn't need you, and you got in that trouble with, at the club with, with Sean, Sean, yeah, well, she dropped you like a bad she habit, bro. Because you weren't good for her image. You weren't good for business. Nah, after that, man, it was a wrap. <laughs> it was a wrap. She got I don't, the fuck out of That's this. not love. Once you, like, listen, she could have stayed with you through thinking then, but she chose not to because she just really wasn't interested in you like that. She just wanted the exposure. Cassie, a young, young, beautiful woman, but I don't know what she's mixed with, but she's a beautiful woman. But what do black men do when they get successful, quote unquote? And I'm not saying this is true. They go out and they get them something exotic, something young. Instead of taking care of the black woman that held you down from the door, from the door when you didn't have nothing. And Kim Porter was so beautiful. She was a fashion. She was a model. She didn't need you. She did her own thing. She didn't need you. Imagine those powerhouses coming together because, like I said, she held you down when you needed her the most. Not J-Lo. When you got charges, when you bust Steve Stout over the head, <laughs> when, 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 when something happened with you at the park where these kids got trampled and lost their life. Puffy has a long life. Yeah, he does. Mm-hmm. Puffy When is, you went ham on the trainer at your son's yeah, school with, with, the, the, with, the, with the dumbbell. Yeah. With the dumbbell. <laughs> with the dumbbell, bro. <laughs> with the dumbbell. With the Still dumbbell. got shit going on, man. Puff Daddy is, <laughs> Puff Daddy is a real cat. He has more lives than a little bit. More lives. Like, he's died so many uh, 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 deaths, so many arrests, so many bankrupts. Like, this guy has lived so many lives. It's amazing that he's still here doing what he's doing, and he's about to be one of the first black billionaires. Salute to you on that. Shout out, but, to her. Shout out to you on that. But the fact that you said that you should have married Kim Porter is just a slap in the face to women, black women, and to men as we strive to get it right. We're not perfect, but we don't want that on our conscience as we're not that. No, we don't need that on our resume, bro. We, know we got that, enough on the resume, right, bro. We know that once one person does something, it kind of makes us all look bad and yeah, puff. Yeah, it becomes right. a status quo for a couple months. And right, so what are the women saying? Typical black man. Typical nigga. <laughs> right, right. It, yeah, you stand right. these you niggas. About that. Him right. saying that represents us. You see the comments. That's <laughs> Sean. You and Jesse Simulette sent this back like 500 years. Exactly. Oh, I was going to use him as, I was going to use him too. When he did that and he got black people in the, the gay community all riled up and then he turned out to be lying, well, allegedly lying, you make us look bad. Yeah, man. You make us look bad because we was ready to yeah, ride man. for you. If it's, anything happened to you and it was true, we was ready to, whatever man. we needed to do, march, boycott, whatever. You would have got all of that if yeah. it was true. Sean, Puffy, Combs, we're not going to make this long. All I got to know is, I just want to ask you. Fuck is you doing, man? Fuck is you proving? Fuck is you proving? Fuck is you doing? <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. Fuck is you doing? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good, bro. Thanks, man. I enjoyed that. I went off the top with that. I was like, I, that's pretty good. I enjoyed that. It's good to sit that. back and listen sometimes. I'm always talking. <laughs> yeah. I'm always talking yeah. this shit. It's good to sit back and listen. I like that. Puff, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> so, man, how was y'all time here with the brothers, man? How was oh, y'all man. Oh, to, to enjoy man. yourselves, man? Blast, bro. Blast, Appreciate blast, y'all man. coming through, man. Tell Definitely the people where they can fun. get to y'all uh, uh, social media-wise or anything in regards to the program. Tell the people where they can reach out to Coach Mac and Coach, Coach, Puff, Coach, excuse me, Coach Puff and get their uh, kids subscribed to what y'all got going on. Yeah, you can reach me at, on Instagram, AIP underscore training. You know what I mean? Um, also, AIP underscore training at yahoo.com. Also, our gym is located at Ford Tennis Court, Hamilton, New Jersey. You know what I mean? Come on out. Even if you want to see the facility, see what it looked like. What's the hours of operation? check it out. But we there anytime. Okay. If I'm not there, there's always somebody there. You know uh-huh. what I mean? Keys to the building. Yeah. 
Keys. Keys open doors. <laughs> and guess what my keys say? Keys, keys, keys. Jets. Open doors. <laughs> 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 but I'm saying? Keys, bro. That's you know what I mean? Up. So come through, check us out, man. You know, oh, anything, we also working on something too. Um probably on Sundays. Trench work. So any O line, Without a doubt. D line. Wanna doubt. come out, contact me at um on Instagram <laughs> at Puff fifty six. Um on Instagram. Or you can reach me at uh, Eugene Knox or uh, on Facebook. Um, o line D nine D line need love too, man. It's not I, just about the running back. See a lot of wide receivers absolutely. out there. I, I, it's I, a wide receiver running back world now. Come get your money worth and get this work right for Ooh, real. Without I wanna, the line, y'all win. I wanted to say something <laughs> about that too, right? When you commit yourself to AIP, if you're a trench worker, you know I would do the footwork, but when it come to personal skill, you know what I'm saying. I never played O-line, D-line. Right. So I'm not going to be the one teaching you that. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? He's the one going to give you the knowledge of that. Because as a running back and cornerback, I can't say, yo, six-inch punch. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> Glad I'm not the only one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cool. But, but the more of that is, that's to let you know where we're taking our business. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? This man knows it. Well rounded you know I mean? pros, yeah. For real. That's dope, man. I, I definitely love everything y'all doing. I always Yo, can see you it show on the me the six inch punch? I should. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Show you. Yeah, okay. Don't do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't okay. fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just show me, goddamn. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have all y'all information in the show notes. So when they listen to this episode, all they gotta do is click on the link or the email. Um, this was episode 127. I appreciate Coach Mega, Coach yes, Puff for coming yes, through. Yes, thanks for having yes, us, fellas. Two intelligent Thank brothers, man. Keep doing y'all thing. I appreciate y'all. Hey, man. Appreciate it, man. Enough. Like I said, when we started Appreciate this, we didn't know so many people was doing so oh, many. Oh, shit. Childish Gambino. Oh. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Yo, like I said, when we started this, we didn't know so many people in the town was doing so many beautiful things. And we yo, just the happy. town. Yeah. Yo, people doing yeah. good things, man. Restaurants. Yeah. Clothing lines. I think people finally figured man. out that you just didn't have to make music. I think yeah, everybody got man. stuck in that rap yeah, bubble. Man. And then yeah. once everybody actually started doing what they love. It all made sense. It's a lot of different avenues, man. Yeah, cats start getting People 40. Them avenues. Bro. Support my mixtape now, nah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no more of that now, my nigga. This was the podcast, brothers, episode 127, yeah. man. Peace Dude. out. Peace. All right.